Hello and welcome to Elijah Special. In our previous videos, we learned how to perform network analysis. We started from preparing the dataset to building the network dataset. And then we do this using both the shapefile and the Joe database. Then we proceeded to finding the shortest distance, the shortest route, and service area, OD matrix, and uh, you know, we've done quite a lot on the network analysis. But all of what we've done in the previous video were of a single mode of transportation, just a road, you know. So, but then, uh, however, travelers, commuters, frequently uses um, several modes of transportation, such as walking on sideways, driving on road networks, and then riding on trains. Now, Goose also travels on many modes of transportation, like the trains, the ships, trucks, and even on planes, the cargo planes. So, it's become necessary, that's why, this video is put together. So in this video, we're going to be creating a multimodal network data set from multiple future classes within a future data set. So ride with me and let's get this started. So I have this data, which I downloaded from uh, the Assyrian website under the download session. So you'll find a Paris database and then under it you have the transportation zone so inside this transportation this is a united state data we have the metro entrance we have the metro lines the metro stations we have the streets right so basically we'll be creating a multimodal data set where all of this will be participating in the network all right so to do that you right click on the uh, transportation data set and then you come down to new then you move down to network data set right so so it's gonna come up to this i explained in the previous video that in this you have the choice to choose the version of the software but the only option that's available here is the version 10.0 and 10.1 so However, we're using version 10.8, so all right. So um, so here we're going to turn it to um, let's say multi model underscore network data. That's that underscore nd network data set. All right. So we say next. Now it's asking select the future class that will participate in the network data set. So we will select all except the stops. All right, so uncheck the stops and then we move to next unlike the single mode of transportation we only have one road which we're going to use that's the reason why you could do a multi a, a, a single mode data set a data network using the shape files but in this case you cannot do a multi modal network data set using the shape file so for you to do this it has to be only on a geo database using the net the geo data based network um network data set act sorry the it has to be on a future data set all right so do you want to model tons in this network yes so here the only one that is the global tons okay so there's no other one available so we go to next now under the connectivity, you can see that we only have one single mode. So you see that the connectivity policy is only one. So, but you have to make it two so that since it's a multiple uh, network, multi network data set, so you have to make it, you can make it three, four, depending on the movement of the network. So here I'm going to make street. Okay, so it's going to be from street to the metro entrance so the metro entrance will have we move from street to the metro entrance now on the policy we'll make it override so it's going to override once you move, move from street to the metro station is going to override all right so we okay it and we go to next and 
we don't have any elevation data so we will say none and then we go to next so here now um here's where we're going this is a new network data set where we're going to be making some few changes all right so uh let's remove this hierarchy and then um this minute we turn it to we just say rename let's say it's a drive time all right so uh it's going to be our drive time and then we're gonna add uh the pedestra as pedestra pedestra time all right so the usage will be cost and then the units will be in minutes and then leaving it at double all right so we okay and let's add another one uh, this will be let's say drive a car drive a car and then it's going to be restriction and then we okay so but you can see that the attribute does not have a cost evaluator assigned for an age source so let's see how we can make changes to all of this so you click on the minutes the meters and then you go to elevators evaluator sorry and then you see this ones that are that are showing that sign so we're going to hold shift and select them so i hold shift and i select them so you right click and on the type you put fill so you right click again under the value you put shape length all right so you see you can either okay or you just select the next one which is a uh, drive time so you make the same selection you hold shift and you select them and then hold alt and um, control to select the remaining so i hold oh sorry i hold shift and i make the first selection then control to select the rest so i'll right click the type will be constant and the value will be the properties and then this property is going to be minus one all right so and you press enter so the value is going to be minus one all right so we move to the next and the pedestrian time you make the same selection shift and control all right so you right click and the type this time will be filled and you go to value and it's going to be transit time okay so you will now select these two again that's the two streets the street from to and to from then you right click okay you don't right click you come under this elevator this box here and this time around you're going to double click on this meter under the field calculator or it's called field evaluator so you're going to write an expression meters times as the 60 divide by 3000 and then you verify the expression i said the field evaluator expression is valid all right so you okay and then you okay all right so um then we have the driver car okay so basically we don't have anything to change here so we okay so once you okay you can look that all of them have been yeah they've all been set so go to next all right on the next we have the travel mode all right so um we have the pedestrian walk so i was gonna say it's a walking let's say walking so that's you add a new one then cancel so that you can have the description say taking a walk 
all right so and it's going to be under walk it's not going to be a truck you know so the other ones will remain like that but then we're not driving a car it's a walk so we remove the restrictions drive a car one way and then we add a new one this time around we say it's drive a car and we're going to select network default and then we're okay so description will say drive a car all right so it's going to be automobile yeah and then drive a car and one way yes then it's going to be allowed and then we we'll go to next so they're asking do you want to establish driving direction settings for this network data set you leave it at yes and then you click on the directions and then what you don't do here you're going to change this to street and yeah so the street is going to be on full name yeah and then i think that's all uh, yeah, i think that's all so it's going to be on full name and it's going to be a primary that's all so you okay and then you next select the build service area index and then you next so it's going to show you the summary of what you've done so far and then it's a finished so it's going to start building the network data set that is the multimodal network data set so it's asking the new network data set has been created would you like to build it now yeah i would like you to build it yeah so you wait for it to finish building So anyway, I've been trying to build this uh, multi-modal means of transportation, but I find it difficult to do that because um, our transportation system here in Nigeria is not. So it's asking whether you want to add everything that has been participated in this, yeah, to the map, yes. So I uh, find out that we only have, I can say, we only have one mode of transportation in Nigeria. We don't have a subway. Maybe somewhere I don't know, but we don't have a software, we don't have uh, a connected kind of to use for this. That's why I'm using a data of the United States because at least it's available. So, um, and I'm not making videos for just Nigerians alone, I'm making video for all my viewers from India, from United States, from Ethiopia, from Ghana, from Philippines, from all over the world. I cannot really mention all the geography. Thank you so much for your support. And then if your country have a multi-modal mode of transportation, that's they have the subway, they have the walking trains, you know, that's the subway muscles and the metro stations and all of that. I would advise you try to see how you can build this data from scratch. It's there's more joy when you build data for your own country, all right? So um since it's not available or um, I'm not being able to make it with my own country. I have to uh, use other country data to make this video anyway. So our network uh, multi-modal data set is ready. All right, so let me just remove this and then so that we can have it like this. So basically i'm gonna add this top and then we'll just do one or two things before so that i don't have so i'm gonna add this top so uh then i'm gonna change the yeah so um so i want to conduct the analysis maybe using calculating either neural or anything so but then we have these stops so what are these stops for the uh i think it's just more like they just point to dictate where we go and where we stopped right so when i just pick this point on the random it's, it's not really a point anyway so let's say we want to calculate new route right so and then we click on the net network analyst window 
all right so uh the stops is that we're going to add we load up our stop as usual load locations so we have a stop to it and then we yeah we okay so the stops have been loaded one two three four you can also you can also um make them the other way around that is you can make it so that it moves from here one here two here three here four by rearranging them anyway but then that's not what we want to do right now we want to um, calculate the shortest distance from any of these points to the other all right so um i'm also going to look at the neural property so i'm going to come to the analysis settings so we are we have drive time we have the pedestrian time so it is more like i'm gonna work but i'm gonna drive but then let's try with the drive time and see and uh, yeah i'm going to leave if i am selecting the pedestrian time i will uncheck this and then and the distance unit is in meters right here so and then it's a pedestrian time yeah and yeah then uh yes the stops uh general is there anything layer okay nothing all right so uh let's okay and then let's give it a solve and see what becomes so it moves from here so it's showing us this is as I want to move from point A to point B, then from point B to point C and point C to point D. So it came out with the best way I could link up on this highway. All right, so let's that is on the walk as I'm trying to walk, but then let's try driving and see. Okay, driving a car. Okay, so we're going to check all of this and then we okay. Then we resolve. So you see, on the driving, it gives us, since I'm going to walk, so it's better I just take this straight and go like this and go like this. But since I'm driving, there are another way for me to go like this, which will be easier. So it's now you for it, let for you to know we could actually check uh, the directions. Let me see. Yeah, we could check the directions. Uh, where is our route? We have one route. So let's check directions. Remember when we did the other one, the the other videos, it was telling us that the data set do not allow uh, directions. So you can see how it's directing you on how to move. So it's showing you you move from here, turn left. And just that when you're on Google Map from your car, you have a GPS in your car, you realize that when it's reaching a specific destination to tell you this is where we are but for where you're going you need to take this direction you take left take right you know you go straight so this is just that kind of direction on this and then yeah you could print a review you know you could save it anyway and then yeah so and uh, we're just going to stop here because we've done the rest of this analysis using the previous video I just feel like bringing the multimodal uh, network data set to your attention and then solving one of the thing groups. So, so you could still apply the remaining um, everything to the same place. Yeah, you could apply all of them. Let's say we want to uh, our facility, let's still, we still load the same stops, though I don't know if that's going to work anyway. And then uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's just solve and see if it's going to work. Yeah, it did work. So it's more like it's created a, a polygon for this this point here. Let's assume it's a supermarket. So uh, this whole place is being serviced by just this point. That's the whole people living within this location as have this here. Same thing here, same thing here, same thing here. So you could apply it to all the analysis we've done previously. You could do um, closest, new closest facility, the OD matrix, 
and then divide go routing problem new location allocation and all that so um basically this is it for today and uh thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe like watch comment share this video make it go viral i love you bye